Eileen Sheehan of the Kingdom. Ooh. No. Oh my God. Anyway, so I love all these quotes hitting the hundreds and stuff. So this is a poem about cures to ensure that all the rest of us hit the hundred. So whatever is wrong with you now today here, you can fix it before you go home. And these are all tried and tested in generations in Ireland. So you can believe every word of it. Because I never lie about anything. <laughs> Remedies. For a sore head, we've a close cap out of ivy. Wear for three days and three nights. To stem a nosebleed, tie your two small fingers with a woolen tread. When suffering with toothache, hold a frog in your mouth. <laughs> for a sore on the leg, taste it with cream from the top of the milk. Let the dog lick it off. <laughs> if struck by a pain in the side, spit under a big stone and bless yourself. Then run home as fast as you are able. For a tightness in the chest, finish off any milk the ferret leaves after it. <coughs> if a needle goes through the body, press a fox's tongue against the point of entry to draw the needle out. For measles, boil sheep dung in milk and drink the liquid. <laughs> a sure cure for thin legs is to wrap them in cobwebs for three nights. <laughs> if your toes are crooked by corns, walk barefoot through the grass <coughs> when the dew is on it. If a headache comes down on you, walk backwards along the road for three miles. <laughs> <laughs> for general well-being, boil robin round the hedge in spring water. Take the tonic with meals. For a person down the room on their deathbed, send for the wise one. She will screech, get out of my vision, at the first three creatures to pass by the door. And death, although never a fool, will be fooled by the bargain and take them instead. <laughs> <laughs> My book is full of dead people, but don't worry about that because they're all doing quite interesting things. <laughs> dead people are far more interesting than living people generally. <laughs> <coughs> but joking aside, this is actually a serious poem, in a way, and because we're in a garden and it's a nature kind of poem as well, but it's more bogland and that sort of landscape where I come from in Kerry, and it's an elegy for my dad. Uh, my father, long dead. My father, long dead, has become air, become scent of pipe smoke, of turf smoke, of resin, become light and shade on the river, become foxglove, buttercup, tree bark, become corn prick, lost from the meadow, become silence, places of calm become badger at dusk, deer in the thicket, become grass on the road to the castle, become mist on the turret, become dark-haired hero in a story written by a dark-haired child. Mm -hmm. <laughs>